This is Scutellaria bicolensis, and um, uh, as a plant, it is a perennial, and it'll grow in full sun, or as you see here, it's even growing in fairly heavy shade. Um, it really prefers probably more of the full sun. It really likes good drainage. Um, so particularly around in California here where the we get these damp, cold winters, uh, it, you have to be careful about the plants not rotting. Um, it's propagated through seed and um, not too difficult if you've got fresh seed to, to, to germinate. You just want to make sure you don't disturb the young plants for the first year or two. Uh, better to plant them directly in the ground where you want them or put them in a pot, one plant in a pot by itself and then you can just repot it when it needs to uh, go to a bigger pot. So the, the remedy from this is from the root and it's Huang Chin and um, it's one of the three yellows used it's for clearing heat and drying dampness, that's the category. And it's used for particularly in its own for the upper burner which involves the chest particularly in the lungs and treating bronchitis and lung infections and yellow green phlegm and things of that nature uh, and it's also good uh, for helping with dysentery because it does work on damp heat and the large intestine and lungs are paired yin and yang organs so it does work on on the large intestine too for damp heat issues it also helps the liver and gallbladder for damp heat issues and can be used for jaundice and helping uh, as a secondary herb for treating uh, gallstones, things like that. And um, it also clears heat toxins, relieves toxins, so it can be used for toxic heat things like ulcers and toxic sores and boils and things of that nature. And um, it also can be used externally for toxic heat sores, things of that nature, and then um, also treating fungal problems and various kinds of uh, microbial, uh, external microbial infections on the skin. And um, it's also good for calming the fetus, which is a neat little function of it, kind of surprising considering it's such a strong clearing herb. Uh, but it does work on the lungs and it does have that affinity and the lungs are important in helping to hold up the fetus in Chinese medical thinking. So that's uh, the main aspects of it, I would say.